how impressed were you with the response, I guess, with everything that happened at Ballarat, the, the, the response yesterday against one of the best teams in the comp? Uh, how pleased were you guys as a group? Yeah, um, really pleased, really pleased with the response from the, the group based on our, our game in Ballarat. Um, you know, we set our tasks early in the week to, to make sure our mindset was in the right space and coming up against a real quality side and um, it was really evident the way we went about our business yesterday that the mindset was right um, and you know, our award for effort came off the back of it so that was, was, was really pleasing and I sensed it in the group, we sensed it in the group as coaches all week with the way they trained, the way they reviewed the game and, and they were really keen to atone for the week prior so um, a good response. Just got to do it again this week now. Yeah. Why is your home form so good? Uh, home is home. Uh, home is always, I guess, where you're, you're most comfortable. Um, I recall back to my playing days and when you're, you're playing at home, you get your home crowd, you got your comforts of home. It does uh, lead to making it, I guess, more comfortable and, and, and easier to perform in, in that sense where you've got the comforts of, of what you know. Um, and it's no secret that our challenge as a group is to it's now back our home form up away from home and this weekend we go up to a neutral venue which will be a, a really big challenge for us. We obviously saw Gold Coast already had a game up there last weekend um, but again we want to be a team that consistently plays with, with great effort, great method, home and away. So that's that's going to be our challenge. Is there a comfort in being uncomfortable in BB? Is that sort of the key to unlocking what happens on the road then? Yeah, it's not it's not at all that we're uncomfortable away from home. It's it, it's about learning as a young group. I, I recall, again, reflecting my career, as a young player, when you, you, you're away from your, your natural environment process and your preparation is slightly different. Um, so our young guys are learning that. Um, and, and make no mistake about it, we've actually been pretty competitive this year away from home, albeit the Ballarat game was, was not what we wanted. So uh, we're doing a lot of things right. Um, and we're, we're certainly trending in the right direction. Um, we're hoping we can put that form in place over the next coming months. What was the most pleasing aspect of last night? I mean, you touched on the mindset with Tony, but I mean, you were yeah. a number of times, the conditions got tricky. How the, did you see it? Yeah, the, I, th I think the most pleasing aspect for us was we were challenged for, for long periods of time, pinned in our back half, um, you know, backs against the wall, and we managed to find a way to, to fight our way to get it back in our front half. And, and when we had chances inside 50, we made the most of it. You know, only going back a few weeks against Collingwood, we were, we were talking, I guess we didn't make the most of opportunities, we lost a game that we should have won and uh, looking back on yesterday it was almost the reverse against an equally quality side who's, who's been up and running and won seven on the trot. So uh, really pleasing that we were challenged, we held strong and were able to go back at them. Being able to keep them to, I think it's just one goal in the end, maybe in that third quarter when you've got a team yeah. that's surging like that, is that almost as big a tick as kicking eight the other way in a turn? Yeah, look, uh, I mean, they had their chances, don't get me wrong. Um, so, yeah, again, to, to hold up and when you get pinned in your back half, that becomes really challenging where teams are able to set up their defensive system and it just becomes a, a big ask to get yourself out of that. Um, and I felt like, you know, whether it was our key forwards, whether it was some of our smaller forwards, and we were able to get that ball into a contested situation. Won some really critical contests. Um, our mids followed it up um, and we were able to get the ball out of there and in, in the part of the ground where we want to be. And, and to our forwards credit, they're able to be really efficient inside forward 50 and, and, um, and hit the score. You did that with our, I guess, one of your more experienced defenders in Bernie Smith. I and mean, what does it say about, I guess, the maturity that some of the younger players are showing to be able to hang tough in, those, in that kind of period? Yeah, look, it's it's massive for, for young guys to learn how to hang tough in those sorts of moments. So, you know, I mean, Josh Worrell comes in for his first game in a long time for us and he slots straight in and, and shows us that why he's been playing SNFL footy at such a high level and he's able to come in and execute his role. Um, Max Mike Laney, we've, we've sung his praises a number of times this year and he had his work cut out yesterday. I mean, Charlie's a, a very slippery unit, but uh, Max, we were really happy with the way he went about his business and made Charlie earn every bit of what he got yesterday. So, um, look, our guys, it's it's one soldier out, and we lost Hingy as well. So Hingy and, and Brody Smith out, who have been solid members for, for us this year, and um, the boys held up yeah, better than OK. The club's now extended Josh Worrell's contract. Yeah. Um, how important is he and other defenders like Max McElhaney for the future of the club? Yeah, look, um, Josh is a great story. Um, you know, when I first came, came back to the club a few years ago, Josh was... Uh, really raw. You could see the talent that he had and um, had a lot of work to do on his game. And 
he, uh, to his credit, put his head down, bum up and got to work. And I think now we're seeing a huge deal of consistency in his game. We've seen growth in him as a person and physically how he goes about his footy now. And um, great re reward for effort for Joshy. Um, I know when it was announced to, to the playing group, they were super excited about him being rewarded for the hard work that they've seen him put in. Um, and it was great to see him back in the side on the weekend. So, um, yeah, for all our young guys, they it's pleasing to see them develop and get reward for effort. I think Rui said on the coverage something like his standards when he first came to the club weren't sort of up to scratch. What does that look like and then what do players have to do to sort of get to the standard? Yeah, it's, um, you know, we all come from different environments. We all come from, I guess, different teams before we come to the footy club and coming in and, and I guess finding your way and, and I guess being away from home has its challenges too and, and every young player is different. Um, and so it's been a great story for, for Joshy to come in and, I guess, learn what it takes to be a professional at AFL level. Um, and now he's got some incredible wisdom and learning to pass on to, to our young guys coming through. So we're talking Billy Dowling, Hugh Bond, Max Mike Laney coming in this year to, to pick the brains of, of Josh and, and other guys of, of his vintage to say, what did you do? What did you learn? And how can I fast track my development? So um, you know, we've got those stories you know, throughout our group um, and the more that they can share their experience then hopefully um, we get this group where they need to be you know, maybe one or two years ahead of schedule would be great. Was that as good a game as you've seen Isaac play? Yeah it was, um, it was a pretty special effort uh, from Isaac the way he went about it um, and the way that he impacted the game um, with some really close attention from, from Stasevich too so uh, we, we really value what he gives us ahead of the ball and um, you only need to give him half a sniff and he, he can impact the game so to come out with 13 score involvements um, and have the impact that he did was was huge for us. Um, also, love the you know the unselfish aspect of his game, where he gave off a number of shots as well, and um, chases, tackles, pressures, and and wins those critical contests. So um, already he's a critical member of our group. Maybe, sorry, uh, going back to what I guess said before about maybe being the the year or two ahead of progress. Do you feel like you're the year or two ahead of progress? You know, last night people were saying. Premiership win might be opening, you know, for, for you guys now. I mean, did you oh. feel like you're? How do, you, how, do you, how do you feel? Nah, so when I make that comment, that's in regards to, to players fast-tracking their own development. So it's more about, you know, Josh Worrell talks to a first-year player that rather than taking five years, it takes them three. So it's about their learning and their development more so. How do you feel the group's progressing in terms of where you want to go? Are you on track where you want to be? I mean, yeah, it's a, I mean, last, I mean, last night, I think the season to date has been a step in the right direction for us. Um, and we've said all along, like, we're nowhere near a finished product yet. Um, but what we do get out of yesterday is some real confidence that we can compete and take it to one of the best sides, if not um, you know, you know, premiership contender this year. Um, and we, we said the same against you know, Collingwood only a few weeks ago, we weren't able to get the job done. Um, and we've got some other big tests coming up you know, um, in the back end of the year. So um, we haven't set our sights any, any further than what's going to be a huge challenge for us this week. Gold Coast have been in some great form similar spot in the ladder to where we are, so it becomes a huge, huge game for us. And again, that challenge away from home in a neutral venue for us to, to take it to them and hopefully give us some momentum. Who kicked the better goal, Josh or Isaac? They both think they did, don't they? So um, uh, both, both miraculous, I don't know. I'd, if I had to put one or the other, I, I did like Isaac's down that end, but uh, I know Josh will certainly put a, a claim on uh, Eddie's pocket down there as well. So it was... Um, yeah, when you've got some special talent ahead of the ball like those two, um, and others, um, as I said, we're really efficient, efficient inside forward 50, and um, they don't just fluke those, they actually do practice them. You guys would see it out at training, that they um, they kick more than what you'd expect. So, um, yeah, it's pleasing, and I know our fans really enjoy it when they, uh, they can kick some special goals like that. Last, last, any last any nuance more. in preparing for 30 degree heat when it's 15 and raining outside? Yeah, it's not my expertise, um, but you know, Darren Burgess and his, his team have got um, some things up, uh, things planned this week to try and acclimatise us as best we can before we get up to Darwin. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see what that looks like, but I dare say there'll be a couple of little things to try and best prepare us as we can. Um, but again, it's going to be a huge mindset test for us. I mean, whether it's hot, cold, wet, windy, um, we'll prepare ourselves to, to embrace for a big contest. How's Expect Brody to beat it. Sorry? You expect Brody to come? Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, again, he's got a tick off on, on training this week. Um, so hopefully he's, he's one that puts his hand up. And Mitch Hinge will also move through the protocols. And again, it'd be nice to have those two put their hands up and available for selection this week. Um, but we'll wait and see.
as that comes to place his former club, I guess a couple of comments from them when he left to come to the Crows. I mean, how do you think you feel that's going to eat will it add like an extra dimension to this weekend? Oh, it may have a, a, a bit of a different challenge for Isaac, just some emotion around it for him, but uh, he'll prepare as he does every week and, and prepare and he, he'll know his opposition really well and who he's coming up against and who he's going to play on, so that'll lend in his favour. Um, but, you know, he's a he's a pro with the way he goes about his footy and he's, he's in good form, so he'll be looking forward to the contest, I'm sure. Tap into that inside knowledge, you ask him? Oh, well, no doubt ask him. Yeah, he's given us some insight when he first got to the club around what his former club has done and what they do well and what their game plan is and like we do with any club, any player when they come in, Jordan Dawson was no different and we uh, pick our brains as coaches when we ever get a new fresh face in to see what we can learn from other environments. Has he told you why Matt Rowell eats grass before a <laughs> <laughs> No he hasn't, I might have followed him up on that this week.